This video is brought to you by Sturka. Link in the description below for 25% off your first order. There's something riders in the pro peloton are doing in order to race their bikes faster. And if you want to race your bike faster, you probably want to know about it. Gone are the days of just filling your water bottle with a massive thing of maltodextrin. Now, as luck would have it, I'm friends with a nutritionist from EF Pro Cycling. So I asked him a few questions because there's still clearly a bit of confusion over using carbohydrates for fuel and how important it really is. I've found you to ask some questions. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned about nutrition. Uh, obviously, because I'm the food guy. How important are carbohydrates for bike racing? Well, the easy answer is carbs are king, and you always need carbs if you want to win a bike race. Ultimately, all the research shows that carbohydrates always outperform any other form of diet, uh, whether it's ketosis or anything else, and ketosis only ever in certain scenarios is equivocal uh, to having you know, they're always the same as having carbohydrate. For uh, professional racing in particular, and doing rides of the duration that they're doing, carbohydrates are king, and you need them in high amounts as well. Now I've heard this term, dual carbohydrates thrown around before. What exactly is that? The majority uh, of products that you see nowadays, commercially available, are termed as dual fuel source or uh, a glucose fructose mix and this is ultimately relating to the two different types of carbohydrate they have in drink or the gel the, the reason why that's good is because they use different transporters or I like to use like you know the term trains and glucose uses one train and fructose uses another and it ultimately allows you to digest and absorb more carbohydrate more efficiently, more quickly, and also more per hour. So is there a magic ratio of carbohydrate sources that you need to stick to, or is it just half-half? That ratio is a two to one ratio of glucose to fructose. Um, there are a couple of products out there, like SAS do with beta fuel, which I think is a one to 0 0.8 ratio, and have similar research as two to one, ultimately. And the whole pro peloton will be using a two to one ratio of carbohydrate sorts, uh, with a lot of them using similar brands ultimately. They will be eating anywhere between 90 to 120 grams an hour on hard stages. Now, I wanted more than one expert opinion on this matter, and Sturka is a sponsor of this channel. They make stuff with dual carbs in. So I cornered Leon, their product developer, and asked him the same questions. Essentially, your body can use 60 grams of glucose oxidation, and that's just glucose alone. 90 grams per hour can be used with transportable carbohydrates. These are maltodextrin and fructose. So when they're used together, you can use twice as much effectively, because you've got two different sources. Also, it kind of bypasses the gastric system, so it spends less time in your stomach, which will cause less distress to your gut. Is it important to mix the right amount of water with carbs? So it's very important, because you kind of want the Carbohydrates to go into the water are the same consistency of your blood. Um, if you have too much, for example, it could stay in your gut and cause distress. But if you have too little, then you're probably not going to utilize the maximum amount of carbohydrates. Is it going to be messed up if you, say, eat a bar that's a different ratio right after you've had a drink? Uh, how, how does that work? Most likely not, because the carbohydrates you're getting from food are different to the carbohydrates you're getting from your mixed drinks or from your products. So you've got the maltodextrin and fructose. Um, your carbs will absorb differently from food because they sit differently, they're digested differently. So it's kind of two different things. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'm back to Will from EF. What about if you tried to consume 120 grams of carbs through normal food? I don't want to ride with this in my pocket. So if you hit the right ratio, how much of a performance increase are you going to see? It's hard to put into a specific percentage in performance because there's lots of variables that are going to affect how you can win a race. We do see faster finishing times and improved power output towards the end of races. 
cases with higher amounts of carbohydrate per uh, hour. And we also see at the, uh, the top end, at 120 grams an hour, we see a reduction or an improvement in recovery, a reduction in muscle inflammation the following day. So if you are doing a multi-day event, whether that's uh, an Audax or an Ultra Endurance event, it will have a big impact. And it will also really help with digestion. When you compare just having malfection or also just having real food sources, the digestion rate will be slower because there'll be other things coming with that, which would be fiber and bits of fat and bits of protein along with it. Whereas if you're going for dual fuel source, you know, glucose, fructose mix items, it will empty out the stomach quicker and will help you feeling, uh, improving digestion and not feeling as full and bloated. So there's a, a lot of great brands out there now that are doing it. Um, Stöcker is one of them, which does a lot of two to one ratio items, provides them in something that I really like because we're talking about 90 grams here an hour for you know, that peak performance to 120 and they provide all their products in 30 gram portions. This makes it really easy to, to work out. You don't have to do that mental math whilst you're, you're riding. So essentially you just know it's three items an hour or four items an hour. And that's in the same with other brands like Never Second, which sponsor Bia, obviously who I work with, and also uh, Bahrain, and also uh, Yumbo Visma. 6D Sports Nutrition also provide great products like that. SAS have products like that and Morton as well. Morton's a little bit different purely because it does have this pectin algae formula and that's meant to be the idea of aiding and speeding up absorption. But the current research I last read uh, was more theorized than proven. As always, fantastic and easy to digest information from Will. Easy to digest. That wasn't intentional. Of course, with all things based around nutrition and sport, it's gonna completely depend on the kind of riding you're doing and the goals that you have. So keep that in mind. He's working with extremely high level athletes, but a lot of the tactics and methods they use can be applied to any level of sport as well. I hope you found this video useful. Please let us know in the comment section if you have any questions and I can get Will involved and help try and answer them. If you wanna buy some Sturka stuff, there'll be a link in the description down below for 25% off. And please subscribe to this channel for more.